this is the name of the subject we are about to discuss. Could we also say this is a word in English? Yes, of course. And the word is made up of letters and the letters in this word are M, A, T and H. So these are the letters. Now think about the number 256. Just as math is a word, 256 is a number as we all know it. It could mean $256, the price of something. It could mean 256 students in a school or whatever. And the number is made up of digits. So 2, 5 and 6 are the digits in the number 256. Just as M, A, T and H are the letters in the word math. A number in the base 10 system is written down according to its place values with the smallest place value coming on the far right and the largest place value coming on the far left. Let me explain. On the far right, we start with the ones place, then we have the tens place, then we have the one hundreds place and so on. Imagine if you had a couple of more digits before the two, let's say a seven and a four, the 7 is in the thousands place and the 4 is in the ten thousands place. Notice that the place values increase by a factor of 10 as you move from right to left. 1 times 10 is 10, 10 times 10 is 100, 100 times 10 is 1000, 1000 times 10 is 10,000 and so on. And the value of a specific digit on a number depends on its place value. Let's for example think about this 5. This 5 out here is in the tens place which means its value is not 5. It's actually 5 tens or 5 times 10 which of course is equal to 50. So this 5 out here is not a 5. It represents the number 50. So there's a 50 in this number, this whole number has got a 50 in it. Similarly, if you look at the 7, it's in the thousands place. So the 7 is not actually the number 7. Remember, it's only a digit in the number and it represents 7 thousands or 7 times 1000, which is 7000. And if you open up the number in this way, so the 4 is in the 10 thousands place, meaning its value is 4 times 10,000, which is as much as 40,000. The 2 is in the hundreds place. You know the rest of the story. So this is going to be 2 times 100, which is 200. And then the 6 is in the ones place, of course. The 6 is actually representative of the number 6 because 6 times 1 is indeed equal to 6. So if you open up the number, it's 40,000 plus 7,000 plus 200 plus a 50 plus a 6. And they all add up to give you the total value of this number, which obviously is 47,256. And this is called the expanded form of the number, the number written in the expanded form. Now let's try and answer the question how many tenths, how many tenths is equal to, let's say a ten thousand, is equal to one ten thousand. Well, one way to do that is, of course, divide 10,000 with 10. So the answer is 1,000. Another way to do that is to figure out the position of this 10 and the position of the 10,000 in any given number. Notice that it's a jump of 1, 2, 3 steps. And each time you're multiplying by a factor of 10. So it's like times 10, times 10, times 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1000. So either way, there are 1000 tens 
in one ten thousand.